Hi YouTubers, this is JustJoySmith13 here and uh, welcome to my video. I'd like to show you today my uh, un unboxing video of a very nice prize which has been sent to me by Mr. Diecast Racer X. I subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel as part of the Diecast Racer um, League. Uh, in, in the league, it's a, it's a, um, using diecast cars and a very nice series of um, scratch built racing circuits. Um, there's a choice um, every week of a choice of eight cars, and you get to pick one car. And if your car, the process of elimination rounds, if your car um, wins the first round, you get one point. If you win the second round, you get another point. And if you win the final, you get three points. It's a maximum of three points a week. And obviously, a period of time you get the more points you get, the better. Um, amazingly, over the past five weeks, I, sort of end of June and most of July, I've um, in the period of five weeks, literally got 28 points. I can't believe it. I, I just, oh, amazing. I, I think the, the next highest team was 24 points and then 21 points. So I, I, I've chipped to bits. I'm quite amazed at that. Um, so Mr. Diecast Racer, they kind of said, well, you, you've won a prize. You've got the most points in five weeks. And uh, sent this, this, this parcel over. And as you can see, it's um, it's already opened because um, I, I did this video already and I didn't put the, um, the volume on. So... There you are, I'll have to do it again, but not to wait. Um, I'll have to show you the, these nice cards without any further ado. Here we go. Right, here we go. The uh, first item out of the parcels is rather a nice gift pack. And the uh, called Tiki Blasters. Um, we've got a rather nice uh, dragster and a Corvette. Not too sure that yellow car is, not seen that one before. Nice pickup truck, I think that's mega duty. And the top car I'm sure is, is jaded. I might be wrong. Um, very nice cars, lots of very nice detail in the, in the paint scheme. Very nice, we don't have this particular type of pack over here in England because um, the ones in England have cardboard sides and this, this side here is clearly, um, well, clearly clear, isn't it? Um, that's just the pack for you. Very, very nice little set. Put them there. Right, in no particular order. Oop, I'll do this one first. This first one uh, is a rather nice original 1966 Batmobile. Instantly recognisable. Great looking car. And the faster than ever um, wheels, looks of things. Um, from oh seven, I think it is. Is that seven out of ten? Well, I don't know. Let's just find out. Uh, two thousand eight on the back there. Oh, look out for two thousand and nine new model. So three, four years old. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Quick looking car, that one. Thank you. Uh, next one. Uh, rather nice, faster than ever. Twelve. 2010 Chevy Impala. Great looking car that one. Um, sort of NASCAR style um, detailing, both on the actual vehicle and also on the um, all, all, all the um, all the paint scheme. Very, very nice car. Yes. Should put it in there. And uh, this one here. Also a, a, a faster than ever. It's a uh, 2010 Ford Mustang GT in a sort of goldish colour. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Put them there. And uh, this, uh, this one here is a. Uh, Flying Aces 2 out of 5, uh, Track T. Nice little old uh, Model T, I think it is. Very nice. Can't quite read what that says. I'm looking for me few files on the camera. Something Betty. Um, don't know. Very nice, very nice little car. From uh, 2003. Don't have to visit the, visit the fair end, so that's uh, very, very nice. There's the back of it. And uh, uh, 
then we have this rather nice one from uh, 2011, a Nissan 370Z. Deep red colour there. Oh, a nice car that one. And that one's got the um, markings from the Green Lantern on it. Now I must confess I've not seen that particular film myself. I'm guessing this is either tied up with the film or it was just released at the same sort of time and all the cars at that particular time were the, um, the, 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 um, the Lantern logo on the top. But I reckon it's probably something to do with the film. I guess. But either way, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. And, uh, oh. Yeah, next next car. It's rather nice. Hot Wheels Boulevard series. I, I I've never seen these sort of vehicles in um in the shops here in uh, in England. Wheel riders, metal metal, so it's metal body, metal underside. Rather nice. 68 old 442. It's a great looking car, isn't it? Lovely detail, lovely paint scheme, and a really nice uh, backing card as well. Very nice, I do believe it. Oh, yes, wheel rider rubber tyres there. Very nice indeed, thank you very much. And uh, some of the others in this particular set from 2011. Yeah, very nice. And uh, <laughs> my nemesis for a, a couple of um, a couple of races. One particular race, this, this particular car um, quite literally bulldozed my 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 uh, my pick off off the circuit. It was a it is a a Solaire. Lovely car that one. Big chunky racing car. Very nice paint scheme. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Great looking vehicle. There's the, uh, there's the back of it. Very nice. We'll put it in there. And that one. We have a very nice, um, also from the Fast and Ever series, 81 DeLorean um, DMC12. Car which I'm sure was, um, I'm pretty sure it's. Um, the, the basis for the Back to the Future series. Great looking car that one. And uh, there's the back of it. And, uh, another little car. Great looking little uh, Triumph TR6. Nice level of interior detail there and a uh, nice racing paint scheme. That's from uh, oh, 2010. Nice looking car. And the uh, final vehicle. Rather nice part of the, uh, the Flying Customs series, which we I've never seen in, in England. Check this one out, these 1973 Ford Gran Torino. Great looking muscle car that. Nice level of uh, detail in the interior. Nice racing uh, paint scheme there. And uh, there's the back of it. Very nice car. Thank you very much. I'm sure you all agree. Each of them special way. But all these cars are very, very, very nice indeed. Lovely little selection. So I want to say thanks, thanks again um, to Mr. Diecast Racer X for sending me over this uh, this lovely little prize. Thank you very much. And uh, for everyone else who's, who's, who's watching, um, please check out the Diecast Racer X's um, YouTube channel. On there, that there's also um, a link. Um, to, uh, to to the website, which gives more information about uh, racing circuits and all the different cars used, and um, and uh, feel, feel free to join in at the fun by by subscribing to, to the league. It's it's great fun. It's very enjoyable. I, I have a 
I got quite a stressful job and um, it's I, I find it most most enjoyable just to unwind and even watch watch these little cars racing down these very nicely built uh, racing circuits and it just seems to release all the stress for a bit of a, a day and I'm, I'm sure I'm not the first person out there to be um, shouting at the screen to cheering my car on or not cursing but you know cursing with, with, with bad luck that when the car comes second or it crashes or something but oh it, it, either way it's all, it's all part of the um all part of the fun it, it, it's it's just it's very enjoyable and uh please, well please, please check it out so you, you see what i mean with it most of all thank you once again for, for, for watching and i'll um we'll speak to you next time T take care bye